up everyone my name is Marie welcome to my channel and welcome to another speed build so for today's video I am building a log cabin in the vacation world of Granite Falls which is the world that came with the outdoor retreat uh, was it a stuff pack no it's a game pack the outdoor retreat game pack so this is a um, naturally also a rental because unfortunately you can't actually live in this world i think it'd be a lot of fun if you were able to but unfortunately this is just a vacation world um the same goes for the uh world of silva dorada which was the jungle adventure world as well i think it'd be so cool if you could actually live in these worlds but alas that is not a thing so for today's video i'm also um, working on a rental and it's a very cozy family log cabin type of a thing that i feel like goes really really nicely in this world and this is all um very autumnal as well the entire house on the inside is all decked out and decorated for fall we also i built this one over on stream so i always say we when that's the case because i feel like i didn't do it by myself um, but yeah, we also tried to uh, see how it looked. I didn't include that in the video, but we did try a Christmas tree on the interior, which we have the perfect little nook for inside next to the um, fireplace and it's going to look so magical. So yeah, I was uh, all ready for fall when I built this uh, like last week and I still am, but unfortunately right now, I'm in the middle of a heat wave, um, so that's not a great start of September. As soon as September starts, I'm like, okay, it's fall now. I am officially allowed to whip out the pumpkins and just enjoy myself and live my best life because fall is my favorite um, season of the year. But yeah, then September came around and a brand new heat wave decided to hit. So that is what I'm sitting through right now. If you're hearing like some background noise, that's because I have a fan literally right next to me blowing at me because otherwise I will melt into a puddle and that will be the end of me. So um, it's a little bit dramatic, but that's just what it is right now. It's not fun. I'm not enjoying it. So I am actually still very much ready for fall. I cannot wait for fall to actually hit, which right here in the Netherlands is supposed to happen, I feel like next week. Next week, temperatures are definitely going down a lot, so I'm excited about that, but we'll see what happens, you know. Um, and in the meantime, I'm just living vicariously through my Sims game and I'm building all the fall inspired builds, like fall colors everywhere. I, uh, like I, like we're watching right now, like this is something I built that is very much fall inspired, but then also I did a very autumnal inspired apartment all decked out for Harvest Fest, like that sort of a thing. I'm ready. I can't stop my favorite time of year. So, you know, <laughs> I'm going to enjoy it. Um, but yeah, for this cabin, you can really see it come together. We did decide to do some terrain manipulation so that we could have a cool pond kind of like going under the foundation, the little stilted porch area of the foundation. And um, yeah, so this, this rental isn't too big. It does end up having three bedrooms and they're all double bedrooms, as in one bedroom for like a couple or parents or what have you um, with a double bed and then two bunk bedrooms. So it has space for up to six Sims total, which I think is pretty nice. We also decided to include a dog bowl and some toys so you could bring your dog here if you wanted to. At one point, I was also debating including a horse stable so you could maybe bring your horse here, but I was like mm, it was gonna be a little bit too cramped and maybe I need to calm down with the horse stables you know I've only been doing horse stables pretty much ever since horse ranch came out so it's fine to um at for ones like not include horses we we can do that that's allowed so I did that for this one and what we did include is a, a little separate sauna so there is a sauna for this build as well and then we also decided to do the hot spring uh, item the onsen is that called an onsen it's the um basically the hot tub kind of a thing but like the natural hot spring kind of a tub that came with the uh snowy escape pack so we thought that was very fitting that was actually an idea someone in chat had so i was very um very thankful for that one it's a really really good idea uh so it's actually pretty luxurious because we do have a sauna we have a hot spring there is this nice little pond where you can do some fishing if you wanted to and for the rest it's just a nice little family rental with a beautiful like family kitchen and a six-seater dining table and um, the bedrooms are small though 
Um, but the parents' room, like the master, I guess, suite, does have an ensuite, which I think is pretty nice. And then there's also, I want to call it a hall bathroom, but actually the bathroom is off of the porch, the back porch. So it doesn't really, like, it's still undercover and stuff, but you have to, like, take a few steps outside if you have to use the bathroom in the middle of the night and you're not in the master suite uh, which I think kind of adds to the charm of the log cabin like it almost feels like an outhouse but it's not it's still like connected to the house you just have to like real quick walk over the porch um, to get to the bathroom but I feel like it's pretty fun like I've never done that before and it did make a lot of sense for this build so that is something that I really did enjoy um, but for the rest you can see the landscaping come together the landscaping was uh, a little bit of a hassle because I was doing terrain manipulation and that always means that your plants don't really want to stick to the terrain anymore like they kind of uh, have this thing where they like want to float they don't really want to slot to the grid so that's a little bit annoying so um, I did a lot of tooling tool really came in handy for this one and I feel like ever since I did that vineyard build I don't know if you've seen it but that's also here up on my uh, on my channel um, a vineyard in Tartosa. I did a lot of terrain manipulation there f for my personal, uh, like, um, what I usually do. Like, I barely ever touch terrain tools, so that was a lot for me. Whereas for some people, that might not be <laughs> that much. Um, but ever since I did that, I'm like, hmm, I kind of like these terrain tools now. Like, they definitely give your lots so much more, like, there's so much more, so much more to it. Obviously, it does have to fit like and suit the type of build that you're doing but especially here for a vacation log cabin rental kind of a thing I feel like it makes so much sense because this world is already very mountainy and kind of hilly and it has a lake and I don't know I just feel like the uh the terrain tool made a lot of sense here so I think it turned out really fun and here you can see that I was working on some pathways because we do have the little sauna area and the hot spring and then I also added a little campfire area which I think turned out so cute there's so many little activities to do here. Uh, at the very end, I also decided to play that game that came with this pack, the horseshoe throwing game. Isn't it something like that? I'm not exactly sure what it is, uh, but I included that as well. So there's definitely some um, little family activities here that you can do. And then of course here we have this beautiful big front porch that is partially over the pond. And I think that is just so dreamy. So I really wanted to add a little seating area out here so you could just like hang out there, have your morning coffee while it's like very cold outside and you can just kind of look over this little pond. Even though, the, even though you have the most beautiful view in the back, like that view definitely beats the pond. There is this entire lake and the mountains in the back that you can like look over if you are if you go out on the back porch but hey i just really wanted to enjoy this uh little pond moment i think we did really well with that one and i thought that the telescope was such a fun addition here too because i can definitely imagine even though there's probably going to be a lot of trees in the way because we are in the forest but i just imagine like the sky being so clear at night and just like perfect for um looking at the stars you know I think that would just be so cute don't have your sims look at the stars for too long because sometimes they'll get hit by a meteorite and die and that would not be a wholesome vacation so you got to be careful with that um, but yeah I uh, did try to include as many little activities as I could so we also have a chess table here out front and did I add a yoga mat I don't think I did that would also be a cool activity you could probably have you could probably like find a space for a yoga mat here somewhere on the porch or just in the on the lot somewhere in the grass um, but yeah, one thing I really also wanted to focus on for this one was the nice big family kitchen. Um, and for the interior, as you can see, I went for a lot of warm colors. And I thought that this um, beautiful green wallpaper that came with the basement kit, actually, I thought that was so perfect because it has that dark brown um, little panel to it. It's not it's not paneling, it's something else. It's called like a trim. This dark brown, dark wood trim that just really matched the flooring that I went for. And I also used this like log cabiny a wallpaper for inside um, feature walls. I think that was also uh, very fitting for this. Actually, what spurred on the entire build, like my entire inspiration for a log cabin is actually the wallpapers that came with the horse ranch pack because we have two wallpapers, one that I used here on the inside for some accent walls, but then also the wallpaper that I used for the exterior of this cabin. They're so perfect for log cabins like this. 
and um, I have always really enjoyed building log cabins in this world, but for some reason I never really liked the wallpaper that came with this actual log cabin game pack. And since we got Horse Ranch and I saw those new wallpapers, I was like, oh my God, that would be so perfect for a cabin in Granite Falls. So I finally sat down and did it and I am actually so happy with how this came out. I was just feeling so inspired all throughout this build and I built it over on Twitch, which is also always a lot of fun to just do it with the community and um, just, you know, kind of like sit through it together and just have fun and hang out, which shameless plug, I do this sometimes, but um, if you are not aware, I do stream over on Twitch. <laughs> a couple times a week. So if you're interested in that, uh, I do stream over on twitch.tv forward slash Simmery Sims. So you can find me there if you're interested. Um, but yeah, for the rest here, you can see we have a kitchen. And since this is a rental, I tried to tone it down on the clutter a little bit because it's probably not too personalized um, since it's no one's uh, house. It's just, it's a rental house. So it makes sense. But I did want it to look like people were actually staying here right now. So I did place some like cups and things and just like random little knickknacks around here and there. And then in the bedroom, I think in the parents' bedroom, I placed a couple suitcases because, you know, realistically, if you're playing with this build in this world, then you're actually here on vacation with your Sims. So there's actually Sims staying here. <laughs> so I thought it would make sense to decorate it in a way where you can just kind of see that that there are sims staying here and then like i said i did kind of decorate it for the fall you can see that i placed some beautiful like candles and fall leaves and stuff on the dining table but that is very easy to swap out like if you're staying here in the midst of winter or in the summertime or in the spring just basically any season that you don't want fall decorations for you can very easily go through and just like delete them even if you are staying here with a sim or a sim family Technically you can't build on rental lots. Um, the little build icon is like grayed out and you can't click it, but there's cheats for it. If you activate the um, BB dot enable free build, I think is the cheat from the top of my head, but you can obviously also Google that very easily. Um, then you can click that little icon and you can actually decorate and build on these rental lots. Um, even though you're not technically owning the place, you can still um, decorate and it won't cost you any money, I believe. I might be lying right now. I don't think it costs you anything. I think you can just build for free, which makes sense because it's not your house. Um, but then here you can see that we're working on the uh, living area and I was struggling a little bit with what to choose for the couch and the chairs and the colors and stuff. But I really, really, really like these, um, these cow print chairs that we chose. They're very ranchy, but I feel like they also kind of work well for this log cabin. Like it feels very cozy and they combine it so well with this couch. This couch is the one from Growing Together and the colors are just very autumnal and just everything that I was looking for basically. And this, um, even though this is like very autumnal, I feel like it's also very colorful, but the colors I chose are very dark, if that makes sense. You can see that there's definitely a feature color going on in the curtains. We have those purple curtains from Seasons that I feel are very autumnal, like, the color is feels very autumnal to me and we also have these bright color well not bright but like dark i, I want to almost call it like a petrol kind of a color for the uh, dining chairs which are the chairs that came with uh, the um outdoor retreat pack as well so i thought that was really cute and then we also have this green rocking chair moment i remember i wasn't too sure if i was able to place this one in this color because i thought maybe the green doesn't really go with anything so maybe it's a little bit much but i really love the color so much that i was like you know what let's just go for it i think it looks fine there it's a beautiful color it's a nice rocking chair a little reading nook area right there which that was actually the spot where a christmas tree would look fantastic maybe i can show you if i don't forget to do that um, at the end of the video when we do a little tour of the place, maybe I can show you what it looks like when you play as a Christmas tree. Just real quick. I know it's only September. We shouldn't be thinking about Christmas, but I can't lie to you. I'm thinking about Christmas. Okay, I'm thinking about it. I'm getting excited about it. I was actually talking about this with my boyfriend yesterday. Um, how it actually hit both of us. The Christmas fever is starting to arrive and we are slowly, well, not slowly, we are very much <laughs> getting excited for not only fall, but also fall going into winter, going into Christmas vibes. I don't know, it's a whole thing. You're allowed to yell at me, but I feel like there's more of you out there. So if you are also definitely already excited for fall because it's basically here, but also starting to get excited for Christmas, let me know because I want to know 
that I'm not alone. I know that I'm not alone, but I need you to be brave and step out in the comment section and tell me <laughs> that I'm not alone and that you are in fact also excited for Christmas, you know? Um, but here you can see we're working on the parents' bedroom and the parents' bedroom is my favorite. I think it turned out so cozy. I love the pillows that I put on at the end of the bed, which speaking of pillows, we're getting a new kit later today, which when you're watching this video, that kit will already be out. Um, I'm very excited about that and that one is supposed to come with some decorative pillows so I can't wait to check those out and I will hopefully have a build um, ready for you uh, with a new kit as well. As soon as it comes out I'm just very excited to go and check it out. Um, but as of right now it's earlier that day so <laughs> the kit hasn't come out yet but yeah it comes with decorative pillows which I'm very excited about. Um, but for the rest, that kit is not at all this aesthetic, but um, it, that's okay. Like, I'm very excited about that kit. It's not my personal style from what I've seen from the screenshots, but it comes with a really cool frame TV from what I've heard that looks like a painting, but it's actually a TV. I've been wanting one of those in The Sims for a long time and in real life too, but you know. I, like I said, am living vicariously through The Sims, so I can't wait to see that in The Sims and also the pillows. Um, but yeah, here you can see we're working on the uh, bunk bed rooms. They're just very small. And then this first one with the green beds is decked out for children. We have a Blarfy in here, the Bigfoot Blarfy, which obviously is very fitting for this type of a log cabin in the woods. And we also have a toy box here. That is really the only toys we have though. It's not really uh, decked out for infants or toddlers because I only did like full size beds, um, but if you needed something for toddlers or an infant, I feel like you could easily add that. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be too much of a hassle. And then there is another uh, bunk bed bedroom kind of next to the other one with the blue beds. Um, and this one doesn't have any toys. So this one is more for like, I don't, I don't know, like teenagers or adults um, sharing a bedroom on vacation. And there's also a desk with a computer in here. I thought that would be a nice thing to add because computers are so handy to have, um, even though it's a rental, just like for gameplay, they're so nice to have. So I decided, you know what, let's just add a little computer desk in here. I was gonna make this into a second children's room with like more toys, but I was like, mm, maybe that's overdoing it. And then if you needed space for a toddler bed or an infant bed, I feel like you could swap out the lower bunk for like an infant bed or a toddler bed. So I feel like that works out that way pretty nicely. And I also went through and placed these little space heaters, which are items from sn snowing. To I was literally gonna call that pack snowing together. No, that's not what it's called. <laughs> it's called snowy escape. Oh my God, I don't know where that came from. Um, snowing together. That's what I should call it from now on, honestly. But yeah, those little space heaters, apparently from snowing together. They are very cute and very, very perfect for a build like this. Uh, so I thought that was really cute. And then here you can see we have the parents ensuite, which is just a very basic little ensuite with a shower tub combo. And then over here we have the second bedroom, which you can kind of, or bathroom, which you can kind of see you have to first walk out of the sliding doors onto the back porch and then into the bathroom. Like it's a very, it's like literally two steps, two steps on the back porch and then you're in the bathroom, but still you have to go outside. <laughs> and I feel like that is a cute little touch. I don't really ever do that. I've never done that in fact. But I feel like for this build, it actually made um, some sense. It made some sense, you know, it was kind of cute. It was it was actually the only way I could make the floor plan work, but you know, I thought it was cute and I really enjoyed it. Um, and then for this bathroom, it's a little bit bigger than my bathrooms usually are. So I had some space for decorations. I placed a nice um, hanging plant and the toilet paper is kind of hidden behind the plant. So we were jokingly saying how you really need to watch that you're actually grabbing toilet paper and not a leaf <laughs> from the plant. Um, yeah, that was just, uh, that was kind of funny. And then here we have a little side porch that I almost forgot we had off of the kitchen where I placed a couple of rocking chairs cause you have this like nice view over the area and I thought it would be nice to, uh, you know, add some rocking chairs just for the vibe. And I also added an easel for an extra skill building item or just like activity for your Sims to do. And then out here on the back porch, we obviously had to include a grill and I kind of made it look like a built in grill with these little um, counter pieces on either side as well. And I obviously had to go ahead and place the s'mores item from the little campers kit because that is just perfect. We also have a campfire out there. So I feel like that only makes sense. And then I really wanted to include this nice little outdoor dining spot because you know, it is undercover. So you could just have like your 
nice little dinner outside. Even if it's like snowy and cold, I feel like that would be really cute. Um, just wear a jacket and you're fine. And then over here you can see I placed that horseshoe game kind of a thing and I placed the last little knickknacks. I wanted there to be some toys if you brought your dog and some bikes that came with the rental I was imagining. I thought that was really cute. And then I also placed a swing set and then that is basically it for this build. So let's jump into the game and I'll show you the build in real time. So here we have the build in the game. As you can see, I set the season to fall so you can see all the beautiful colors. Granted, this world has a lot of pine trees and those are always green, but we do have some trees that change color here in the back and also on the lot itself. So you can see here we have a little pathway leading up to the front porch. We have this beautiful pond over here with a fishing sign, so you can do some fishing here. And on this porch, as you can see, we have a nice chess table over here and for the rest just some decorations, a nice seating area, some pumpkin pumpkins in the corner. I had to do the pumpkins. Like this is a fall themed build basically. So I had to. We also have a telescope here and some planter boxes that I just thought look cute. Um, you can obviously also use them, but I mostly just placed them because I thought they were cute. Then here off to the side, we have this little porch with the easel and the rocking chairs. And then there is a pathway out here leading you to the fire pit over here where you can have your s'mores and sing songs by the campfire. A swing set. We have some parked rental bikes here that I was imagining um, came with the rental. So you can just uh, bike around the world here. And then over here, we have the hot spring area and also the little song which I thought was such a nice addition. So yeah, there's just a sauna in here as well. And then over here we have the back porch with a dining chair and a grill. But then when we go inside, you basically just enter into the kitchen. It's a nice spacious family kitchen. There is a lot of space. For, um, for activities around here in the kitchen, I feel like. There is a nicely cluttered, but not overly so um, kitchen over here with a coffee maker. We have a kitchen island area over here and also a little hidden bowl for pets if you wanna bring your dog or your cat, but mostly your dog, you can uh, have some food for them over here. Then there is a nice six seater dining table because this house does sleep six sims total. So I thought six chairs was perfect. It's all um, beautiful and ready for fall, of course. We have a cabinet over here with some board games. I thought that was perfect to add in this house. Lots of board games. And then over here is the living room space with a beautiful fireplace and uh, yeah, just your regular little living room and some bookcases in the back. And then we were thinking that the Christmas tree would be perfect over here. Let me show you. Look how cute this would be. You just want to get rid of this chair here and then you have your very cozy little Christmas tree here in the corner. How cute is that? So if if you want to have your sims go on vacation for the holidays and celebrate Winterfest, then yes, this would be the way to do it. But for now, we just have the chair. Then over here is the parents' bedroom, which very cute. I love these cushions or throw pillows on the bed. I think that's just really, really nice. There is a dresser here and some suitcases, and then they have their ensuite over here, which is very basic. And then the other two bedrooms are over here. So this is the one with the blue bunk beds and the desk with a computer on it. And then the other one is more so for children. So there is a couple more decorations in this one and there are a few toys in the back. And then over here is the bathroom where you kind of have to cross the back porch into the bathroom, but it is a nice, big, spacious bathroom with some decorations, a double sink. So I feel like, uh, I feel like it's kind of worth it. That's nice. But that is basically it for this build. So this cozy cabin rental is up on the gallery. It comes in at just over 80,000 simoleons, but it's a rental. So I don't know what it costs per night, but I feel like it's pretty expensive because it's densely decorated and that tends to really up the price per night. So maybe you want to save up um, to stay here, but you know, it's cute. I built it on a 40 by 30 in the world of Granite Falls. So if you want to place it in your game, then that is where it goes. But that's going to do it for today's video. So I really hope that you enjoyed this one. You can obviously go ahead and download this build off the gallery. If you'd like, my username on the gallery 
is Simmery Sims. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok if you'd like. My username on there is Simmery Sims as well. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, feel free to do so. And if you want to be notified of every single time I upload a video, just click that little bell icon and you should be fine. I also live stream over on Twitch a few times a week. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and give me a follow over on twitch.tv forward slash Simmery Sims. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.